What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Crystal Walkthrough, the 2022-2023 edition, probably, maybe, I don't know, we will find out. So, anywho, in our last episode, we went through the Kimono Girls and we defeated them all, knowing exactly what kind of Pokemon they were going to come out with, and now it is finally time for us to go to the Pokemon Gym. Initially, I said I was going to go to Olivine, check things out, train, but I kind of Realized that I wanted to do a little bit more and that was surfing and all that crud and Yeah, just realized that well Whooper can surf in the in the battle, but they can't surf in like in game and all that stuff So we have to have the fourth badge Okay, so we trained and luckily we didn't hit any legendary Pokemon on the way I'm kind of saving that for later on probably and uh, yeah, our Pokemon are leveled up well, we leveled up just quite a bit, day and night, and then we got ourselves some Pokeballs as well. Um, didn't know this, but I, I, I found, like, I, I attempted it, but the clock inside, or the clock in your computer, actually works with the clock right here in, in, in the Pokemon Crystal. Meaning, if you change the day and night cycle on this clock right here on your computer into your emulator, then bam, you can just change it up and everything, everything's gonna work. So, while that was going on, I actually went and uh, got myself some Pokeballs made and all that stuff. I actually finished out the level balls and all that crud. And got myself four fastballs, heavy balls and all that stuff, just to, just to make sure that we get ready for what's to come. Because, well, hey, we got legendary Pokemons on the loose. So in this episode right here, we're going to be going into the Ecritic City Gym, and the leader happens to be Morty, Morty I should say, the Mystic she a Seer of the future. I don't know how mystic he is, but we're just about to find out. And well, here we have the only man that's ever believed in us. He's like, the trainers here have secret motives. If you win, they may tell you something deep, or some deep secrets about Ecritic, which, well, we're about to find out. And, uh, well, we're trying to get Togepi to evolve, but, like, there, there was a few snags along the way. One being that, yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah, good old Draven uh, made it, made Togepi faint, like, a few times. So, yeah, it's, it's not really liking me too much right now. Can you inflict any damage on our Pokemon? Oh, yeah, I forgot to mention something, too. This is a ghost-type gym, so... Yeah, just be aware of that. And, well, here we have Sage Ping, and he's going to be coming out with a Ghastly. Holy crud, okay. So here we go, Ghastly, how's it going? Hera learned a little move called Bite, and uh, something pretty cool here in Generation 2. Dark-type Pokemon are supreme against the Ghost-types and Psychic-types, and BAM! Say hello to level 21. Oh yeah, we are getting close to evolution, I think. And you know what? We're just going to use Hera. We're going to be riding Hera along the way right here. Yes. That's right. Bring it on. Oh, yeah. By the way, off screen, too, I captured a butt ton of Pokemon. Some that were on Pokemon Yellow. I, I realized that maybe it, it's good to have doubles of every single one of the Pokemon I captured. That way, you know, if I choose to go into the lower level uh, events in Pokemon Stadium and Stadium 2, you know, we'd actually have something, you know? Some of the similar Pokemon in their pre-evolved forms and all that. That'd be great. And, well, Hera, kicking butt, taking names. That's right. And Ping is about to come out. Let's go ahead and give, uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and give Thunder or Fluffbolt a, a little bit of loving right here. It's also a Pokemon that got traded. So, let's see right here. Fluffbolt, how's it going? Let's go Thunder Punch. And Thunder Punch takes away Ghastly's uh, will to live right there, and bam, we're going some levels there too. And here comes Ghastly. We're gonna continue on with Fluffolt. Oh, I, it's I true. Like I sure wish that Fluffolt would actually learn. Uh, what was it called again? What was it again? Uh, yeah, Signal Beam. But that won't be until later on. And well, bam. Fluffold, level 25. And that's how you defeat a ping. And, well, there's no evolution. I could have evolved right there. Okay, so I'm going to go on my phone right now. Let's see. I'm going to go on my phone, and we're going to check out the mapping to this whole thing, because I don't know if you guys noticed, but it's dark for a reason. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Ecrutech City Gym. Ecru... 
tick, gym, and bam. Okay, so we're gonna look at the, the map right here, and follow as I go, guys. So as you can see, we're gonna go up here, the next step is going up top, and you're gonna be battling this old lady right here. Stumped by our floor, invi or invisible floor? Defeat me, and if, if you want a hint. I got a phone. I got a phone, so I kind of know where you guys are at, so... Here we go, taking on Medium Grace. And uh, she is coming out with her Haunter. And, well, let's see, Hera. Let's see what you can do right here. Haunter, meet Hera, Dark-type Pokemon. I, I now see why... I now see why Hera and any kind of other Dark-type Pokemon, pure Dark-type Pokemon, were left for later on, because, damn! Ghost types literally have no effect on these guys right here. And, well, we have defeated the Haunter, so let's go right ahead and get Fluffle to a little bit of victories right here. We probably should give, uh, what's your, whatchamacallit, uh, we probably should be giving, uh, what was it called? Um, uh, what was her name? Oh, yes, Fluffle, or not Fluffle, but what's his name? Uh, Togepi, a little bit of loving right here. And, bam. There we go, Haunter. You're about to get defeated with one more Thunder Punch, but here comes a Spite Attack, and a nice array of uh, g Ghost type moves were added in Generation Two. Kind of wish they would add a little bit more of like you know Ghost types, Dark types, Steel types, Dragon types. You know those are the those are the Pokemon that got left out. And well, let's go right ahead and take a look at what the map is saying right here. So we just have to turn left. Don't need a don't need a hint from this lady, and we're gonna be talking to this guy. Spent the spring with my Pokemon, then summer, fall, and winter. Then spring came again. We have lived together for a long time. You don't say. Okay. All right, Jeffrey. And Jeffrey wants to come out with a Haunter. This is a prime experience points right here. All right, bring it on, Hera. Let's go. Bite attack. And I don't know why you're doing the mean look. You're making me laugh because, well, you're not going to do anything to me. And Haunter, oh, nearly faints right there. Let's go ahead with one more. And, yes, Spite has been lowered by two. And there you go. Haunter has been defeated. There we go. And nearly grows to level 23. Jeffrey, you have survived. Wins and losses exposed. Oh, okay. All right, you experienced everything. Okay. So now... We have to turn right, and bam, up, and bam. I shall win! Hmm. Okay. Alrighty, so here we go. Take it on, Midian Martha. And what is going on here with the Ghastly? Level 18. And here's Hera. Okay, so eventually we're going to have to conserve uh, Hera for the actual battle. It hasn't been touched yet. I'm not too worried about it, but yeah. <laughs> kind of want to save the evolution for the gym battle, right? Eh, let's keep it for right here. If it evolves at level 23, then that'd be great. Completely forgot what level it evolves, so here we go. Bite attack. Does the trick, and Ghastly. Say goodbye to Ghastly. And bam. Level 23. Hera is kicking some butt, taking some names. Let's go right ahead and switch it out. Let's give uh, Togepi a little bit of loving right here. Now, I know what you're thinking. It's a normal type. This is a Haunter. It's going to nullify everything. So, let's see. Hmm. Metronome. And, uh, wow. Okay, so this is going to be like a standstill right here. Metronome. Come on. Don't fail me now. And here's a Thunder Wave. Okay. All right, so that's one. Here we go again with the metronome. Tackle attack. Wow, seriously. Fully paralyzed. Okay, so... <laughs> and here comes a sing attack. Doesn't affect it. Holy crap, baskets. So, the only way Haunter can actually beat me is through a curse. And... Here we go. Octazooka! That nearly defeats it. And here comes the curse. So this is gonna, like... Really hurt us right here, so let's go again. Metronome, come on, please give us something good. Focus energy. Oh my god. Oh my god, we're gonna we're gonna faint and 
Oh my god. Okay, so here comes another curse. It failed. Alright, metronome, please do something. What was that? Oh my god, no. Okay, so I think that's a sky attack. Oh, Razor Wind. Good gravy. And it's a normal type attack. Good god. Oh my god. Uh, Togepi is never going to evolve. Oh my god. Okay, let's go with Lucky. So, off screen. Like I said, guys, I actually, yeah, I actually taught Lucky Surf, so this is actually a much more powerful water type move. And just like that, Haunter has been defeated. And yeah, <laughs> Togepi is not happy. Oh my god. Yeah, we're going to have to do some major training to just get that Pokemon to, to evolve. But luckily for me, I bought some re uh, revives. And not that one. Okay, sure. Let's, let's see, let's see. Where are you? Where are you? Togepi, seriously? At this point, I'm like, I'm starting to think that maybe I should just switch out the Pokemon. And now we have to go take a left and take an up. And there we go. And it is currently Saturday. Well, technically it's, it's Sunday, but I just switched up the clock to do, to modify a few things right here. And, well, we're going to be giving Togepi some uh, love because, well... What kind of love do we give it right here? Okay, so here we go. What's up, Morty? Actually, let's go right ahead and save Hera for Gengar. And let's go straight for... Do, 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 do. We can't go with Chico. Let's go with Serpentera. I want to see something right here. Let's go. Good of you to come. Here in Necrotech, Pokemon have been revered. It's said that the rainbow-colored Pokemon will come down and appear before a truly powerful trainer. I believe that tale, so I have a secretly trained all my life. As a result, I can, I can now see what others cannot. Just a bit more. With a little bit more, I could see a future in which I meet the Pokemon of rainbow colors. You're going to help me reach that level. Hmm. Okay. Bring it on. So here it is, guys, gym battle number four against leader Morty, and like I said before, he is a ghost-type trainer. Now understand this, guys. Ghastly, Haunter, and Gengar are not just poison-type Pokemon, they're also, or, they're not just ghost-type Pokemon, they're poison-type Pokemon, too. So, you're thinking ground-type attacks would work, let's go ahead and uh, try something right here. As you can see, Curse is a new is a new ghost type move that actually takes some HP out of you every turn, kind of like Toxic. I mean, you did see it with, uh, you did see it with, with our good old buddy, uh, Togepi, but dig ground type moves actually work with these ghost type Pokemon in this generation. Just be aware of that. And I am going to switch out Pokemon because, well, somehow, some way, Curse is gonna, is gonna, is gonna screw me. So, Serpentera, come back. Okay, Flavolt. Do your thing. Thunder Punch. And here comes another curse. Okay, so, technically, you're hurting yourself just by, you know, by lowering your HP like that because, bam, look at that. Critical hit. How's it feel to fail? Yes. Draven's being a little cocky. Say hello to level 26. And, well, who is next? Gengar. Okay, so let's go right ahead and go with the real heal right here. I want to know something. Does... Does Curse affect Dark-type Pokemon? Comment down below, guys. Has that ever happened? I want to know. And here comes a Shadow Ball. Ghost-type move does not... Oh, it's not super effective. Uh, but it does affect... Uh, it does affect me. Holy crap, Baskets. Okay, so I just... <laughs> I just figured out something. There's a Shadow Ball. Oh lord, oh lord, okay, come on, Hera, bite him. There you go, and that's how you beat a Gengar. Obviously, we can get a Gengar anytime we wanted to, and oh, almost grows to level 24 right there. We're gonna keep it for one more battle. Alright, bring it on. I'm only assuming that you're gonna be going for a curse, so let's go right ahead and heal Hera. Let's go. And here comes a Nightshade attack. So I learned something. 
I learned, I definitely learned something that yes, ghost types do affect dark types, it's just, uh, well in generation 2, and yes, we can't escape, so that was actually the initial plan, my bad. So here comes a bite attack, and that is a critical hit, how does it feel to fail, Haunter? There we go, and bam. Level 24, Hera, we all know what's gonna happen next. And there it is, guys, we have defeated Morty, I'm not good en enough yet! Alright, this badge is yours. Yes, and Hera is finally evolving. So I think we've had Hera for like, what, three, four episodes, maybe? One, two, three, four, four episodes? Yep, that's what happens when you get a nice boost in your, uh, in your trade ability and all that stuff. Do I feel ashamed of it? No, I don't. You know this was coming. Okay, so here we have the Fog Badge. And this actually helps us out a lot. Any Pokemon up to level 50 will obey us now, which, you know, it will actually help us in the long run. Also, Pokemon that know Surf will be able to use it any time. I want you to have this too, and here we have the TM30, which we just saw the move. It's Shadow Ball. It causes damage and reduces special defense. Use it if it appeals to you. I see. Your journey has taken you far away places. And you have witnessed much more than I. Hmm. I envy you for that. Okay, so let's go in the shortcut right here. Oh, wow. We could have just walked up like there. Huh. Never mind. Okay, so there it is, guys. We have defeated our fourth gym leader. And now we are enabled to surf anywhere. So that means we're going to be doing a little bit of side quests. Just a little bit. That and trying to... Uh, yeah, that and trying to level up our Togepi because it needs to evolve too. So, thank you guys again for watching. Stay tuned. In the next episode, we're going to be taking a small side quest to other places and all that stuff that we can actually surf at. And, uh, yeah. If you guys want to make a donation to this channel, heart button's right there. Link's in the description below. If you guys want to join the channel to watch exclusive content like Pokemon Silver Walkthrough and such other things, Go ahead and join. I will be back for another episode of Pokemon Crystal. See you guys.